I'm sure. Good. Got nothing on my face. We all right? We good? We straight? All right. <laughs> See, you getting nervous too. Yeah, we, it's something about show. the lights and the no, camera. We, 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 <laughs> usually how we set up. We good. All right. I'm going to have to do a solo today. Shout out to my boy, Harwell. We got some family issues going on. So before we start the show, I want to reach out to him. <clears throat> Let him know we're thinking about you. Hopefully your family all right. And all that good stuff. Hey, hey. Ryan? Yeah, Ryan. Hey, yeah. Ryan. Hollywood oh. Hardwell. Hey, Hollywood Hardwell. I hope your family is doing well. Um, sorry we couldn't, you know, connect on times, but maybe next time. Maybe next time, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the All In Show. This your boy broke Dusty. Solo Dolo today. Our well gone. Y'all get him when he get back. But it's alright though, cause we got a guest from out of town, man. Out of town guest. Solo Dolo here herself. From where? From Macon, Georgia. From Macon, Georgia, man. So we trying to expand, y'all. Get some more people up out of here. Yes, it's so, a long way from home. Yes, yes. <laughs> we came up to the land for sure. So first, we need your name. My name is Simona, but most people call me Mona. Okay, Mona. What's your sign? Cancer. Okay, Cancer. All right. July Cancer. The July Cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. They say them June Cancer. Are y'all different than the July ones or the June ones? Oh, I just feel like July's are better. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out for sure. For sure. So your name, your zodiac. You said your hometown, Macon, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay, born and raised. I was actually born in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay. But um, I was raised down here in Macon, so I guess it doesn't it doesn't matter too for much. For sure, for sure. Where you where, where you wins, where you at, for sure. So do you are you in the sports at all? Oh, did cheerleading? Yeah. When I was in middle school. You got any like favorite teams? No. No. I okay. like gymnastics though. If mm -hmm. I had to mention a sport as my favorite, mm -hmm. I would definitely say gymnastics. gymnastics? I just think okay. it's so beautiful. You know what it is? My daughter want to do gymnastics, so if you think I need to put it in, I think you should. First Just be careful, they break a lot of bones. Man, look. <laughs> girl be flipping and flipping, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot of trial. Yeah, we know she'll have a coach and she'll be good. She'll be great. <sighs> you didn't say I break bones. Now you're trying to, <laughs> try to have me get it. <laughs> she can be the next Simone Biles. For sure. For sure. I'm going to think about it. So, if no teams, what's your favorite song right now? Mm, Top of your head. Probably Nate Smith Under My Skin. Nate Smith, Under My Skin. Yes, it gives me hope that love's going to come one day. Okay, I'm going to check it out. And someone's going to feel that way about me. Yeah, ever look up Big Nate, then. I haven't heard <laughs> it, but we going to look it up for Yellow sure. Yellow Wondering is a country song. Okay, all right. I just got into a little country, so I'm going to check it out. Okay, you got to let out. me know how you like it. I am. I am. <laughs> and then the last one, we do you have an iPhone or Android? Oh, it's Team Android all day. Man, come on, man. I was so disturbed when my, work, when my job actually gave me an iPhone. I don't even know how to work it. Come on. <laughs> see, like, see, that's why I'm glad he ain't here. I'm glad his ass here. How do you do a here? screenshot on this thing? Like, just, two, just two buttons. Too. It's too, no. It took me like 10 minutes. I was like, oh. I'm like trying to swipe the screen. It's not working. Come on, man. I'm down 4-1. Down 4-1 <laughs> for the year, y'all. That's all right. I'm glad his ass ain't here because he'll be turned up. We but need that. Right. We need that love. Y'all be doing us wrong. Next time. With y'all little blue bubbles. Man, man. That little green bubble. We don't even want to talk to you no more. Shit. That's all good. But I definitely appreciate you coming to the land for sure. It's Coming a way pleasure. up here. I'm happy to be here. It's cold than a motherfucker. It's cold there. as hell out there. It is. It's cold as hell out there. You guys, sure. he tried to give you the drive up, and I was like, in the snow? Man. I'm from Georgia. We don't yeah, drive in the snow. Exactly. It was snowing yesterday. It, it, it cleared up today, though, but for it sure. It did. For sure. But it was like four inches of snow out there. Yeah, yesterday was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. Well, Tuesday, rather. But we appreciate it nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we got the meet and greet out the way. Everybody want to know how we met since you from Georgia. I'm from the land. So, of course, Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Shout out to Facebook. They brought us together <laughs> through, the, through a group called The Cookout. Yes. yes. Shout out to The Cookout. <laughs> Y'all are off the chain. It's brought a lot of people together. Brought a lot of people together, <laughs> for sure. But we'll, we'll get into that later. But uh, what's the reason why you're here? For in Illinois? In Illinois. Yeah, so my job sent me up here for training. I just started a new job and uh, we're learning the role as a catastrophe adjuster. So that's the job? 
Yes. What is it called again? Catastrophe adjuster. A catastrophe adjuster. Yes. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So, in layman's terms, mm-hmm. um, a storm happens. We're the people who go out to the storm. We assess the damage that you have on your house because you filed a claim with your insurance. Right. And um, we go out there, we assess the damage, we determine if this is going to be covered or not. Okay. And uh, we write the check for you. So be nice to your adjusters because okay. we write your checks. Yeah, so y'all pretty much come peep the scene. Yes. Say how much y'all going to get or how much you owe either way. Yes. Gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha. What got you into that? You know, um, I actually, so my life changed really drastically. So yeah. end of 2021, I graduated. I was looking for jobs in my career field. I have my degree in health administration management. Health administrative management. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. So I have my bachelor's in that. And honestly, I could not find a job in it. Yeah. I spent the first half of 2022 looking for jobs, getting denied. Um, what's crazy is I felt like I got more interviews based off my military experience than mm. I did from my degree. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, how long were you in the military? Eight years. Oh, damn. Okay. Fresh <laughs> out of high school then. I'm yeah, assuming. basically about okay. 19, I joined. Okay. okay. Shout out to the to the service, to the military. Mm-hmm. We had a veteran show. Shout out to all the vets. So what branch were you in? Air Force. Okay. I okay. wouldn't have it any okay. other way. Okay. Right. You ain't nice? <laughs> no, no. Sheesh. So you was flying, you was doing all that? I was not flying. I never jumped out of a plane with the Air Force, but I okay. have been skydiving. Sheesh. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. So eight years of that, then you come out. So you got your degree while you were in the service? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you come out the service, ready to work, no yeah. jobs. No jobs. Could not get a job. I was constantly getting denied. <clears throat> when I did get an interview, I was getting lowballed, or they were basically paying me what I was making at my current job in the pharmacy with much less benefits. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that was not working, but I needed to get out of the pharmacy. It was time for me to move on to the next stage of my life. For sure, for sure. And stumbled on to be a catastrophe adjuster. Yes, yeah, so I started looking up career fields that yeah. um that match my my pay of who I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not for real. I needed to have certain things. I wanted an image. Um, I kind of wanted to wear heels, but I don't wear heels anymore. Okay. Work anymore. All right, all right. <laughs> Definitely not wearing heels in this career field. Um, but I wanted that. I wanted to be able to wear my natural hair. Yeah, for and sure. And I wanted a certain work-life balance. Okay, okay. So that's what's up. So with this job, I know you're here for training, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. And it's been a week long? Yeah, it was... We got here on Monday, so we didn't actually start Monday. That's just when we flew in. Mm-hmm. So we started Tuesday morning. Today was Thursday. Today was our long day, so we got out like 6.45-ish, 8 okay. to 6.45 maybe. Okay. And we stay until Saturday. We finish training around noon, and we take our flight back in at 3 o'clock, 3.45. Gotcha. gotcha. Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. Okay, so about a week long. Okay. So without giving too much information, what does training consist of? So picture a warehouse with three houses in them. Okay. And um, each house has different scenarios in it that things that could happen um, with things that can cause claims. Mm-hmm. So we have, we some of the trainings we've done were a dishwasher broke and leaks um, water all on, the, all on the floor. Gotcha. So we need to assess the water damage in the house. We had another one for fire broke out from a toaster on the counter. Combusting into flames, we have to find out the origin of the fire, how much damage it caused, um, gotcha. things of that nature. We had hail damage, which we did today. That's actually pretty lengthy. So hell's hitting the vinyl on the house, mm. it's hitting the roof, and we the need to know. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gotta adjust the whole damn house. Yeah, pretty I think much. on the roof today. That's crazy. <laughs> we said you ain't scared of ice though, so. But it's different. Okay. So I'm not scared of heights, but when you're on a roof, it's. Your legs get yeah, tired, so it's an incline. Yeah. Some of them have really steep slopes. Lord have mercy. Yes, yeah, so your legs are kind of like, you know, kind of... <laughs> <laughs> are we falling off no roofs, man. Oh, please, God. though, it's... please. We have to all let show do not condone We're falling look, off roofs. Look. Stay safe. Stay, Stay safe. safe. So for sure, for sure. So with that, so I know you were saying you were in health before this. Mm-hmm. So what were your plans if you were able to find a job? What did you ultimately want to do in the health field? You know, honestly, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know. I went to nursing initially because my father was sick and he knew about nursing Mm -hmm. because he had kidney failure. 
And I kind of think my father's told me to go into nursing because it was a decent career field. Yeah. It pays decent. It has nice prestige to it. Mm -hmm. No, no one's going to be ashamed to say their child is a nurse. This is true. This is true. So he told me to go into it. It didn't work out for me. For yeah. one, I despise body fluids. It's, it's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone this. I have no shame. I don't like body fluids. Okay. All so right. I don't know why I wanted to be a nurse. Wasted yeah, a lot you of time. You got to touch everything. I wasted a lot of time. Especially at the beginning stages. Yeah. Yeah. And then still filled out the nursing yeah. program. A whole lot of time and a lot of money I wasted. Definitely. Especially if you don't like fluids. Oh. What was you going to do? Man, look, I was going to get in that field and hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to. So, you know, I can't be mad, though. Like, looking back on it, yeah. it didn't feel like that at the time. Right. But right, I right. really feel like filling out the nursing program was probably one of the better things to happen to me. You know, if I was a nurse, I would not be a catastrophe adjuster right now. This is true. That's two total. Totally different. Of the spectrum. Yeah. Totally different. Okay. okay. I don't. I don't have to wear a uniform anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this is true. This is true. Look, but there's no shame to nurses. If you're a no nurse, you know we're happy nurses, for yeah. you. We really appreciate all of your service. No, but you have to like people for real to be a nurse. And I don't like their body fluids. Like... <laughs> 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 Just they fluids. Uh, mm -hmm. sure. I don't like sure. that. So I know you was describing the three houses, uh, if we're going back to your job or your title. Mm -hmm. uh, one had a fire issue, one had a water issue, and the other one had a hail issue. Mm -hmm. So any issues that go on with the house, y'all coming out to check? Yes. Okay. So mostly, we work with um, disasters. So we work with more hurricanes, frozen pipes. We have a lot of frozen pipes, like mm -hmm. in the south right now. We're not used to this weather. Yeah, for sure. We're not for used sure. to this weather. So we and for the last couple of years, it's been getting real crazy down there, like cold. And we're not, we're not ready for it down there. That's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts. Everybody always say, I'm going down south. Like, I understand. Go to Florida. Shit. Go to Florida. You know, shit. It'll be cold <laughs> down there. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> So. But a lot of fire, that's more of a proximity thing. That's not, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a, something happening to the neighborhood or an area. Right. So right. the catastrophe team doesn't typically handle that. That's more of a proximity thing. Okay. So it's two different. Two components. Different but okay. Yeah. We okay. work on different things, but essentially we're all doing adjusting and it's all for houses. Okay. Okay. For sure. For sure. That sounds like a complicated job. Yeah. Like proximity, they would deal more with vandalism. That was one right. we had too. Right. Okay. I probably would not see vandalism as often. Oh, for sure. For sure. Unless it's just super major, but they just Yeah. Like you just, up. you broke up into a whole neighborhood, <laughs> you know? For sure. For sure. For sure. So what is your ultimate goal in this field? I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, as we explained, you know, I'm still in training. I'm new to the role. And there are so many different aspects of it that I'm truly just overwhelmed by. Yeah. You know, you can work on floods, to, but to be a flood adjuster, mm -hmm. you have to have five years of experience and register with your state insurance department. So you got to be five years in just to even... Yes, you have to be extremely proficient and fluent with Xactimate. Mm. So... Um, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you have commercial where you're working on things like a Walmart had a like buildings. Okay. Yes. Okay. For sure. So for sure. Like I said, there's so many details that goes into a house. Just imagine how much detail it is right. doing for a factory. Right. A commercial business for sure. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Fact, all that square footage. All of, and all that. of that. Or like, what if you're doing something like a hospital? You know, hospitals have to stay up and running. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure they get paid a little bit. Look, they get paid. Yeah, that's <laughs> they the goal. That's the goal, though. That's the goal for sure. Those in water there. claims, they get paid. Yeah. Um, but then you have other ones that, you know, the more I learn about adjusting, the more I understand the role of a public adjuster. And it, this is part of that does love people. Mm -hmm. I can understand why the public would need one. Yeah. And, but it was, I feel like it'd be hard to sell it because people don't know they need an adjuster. Well, why do they need one? Tell us why. Because most adjusters work on behalf of the insurance company, and you need someone who's going to represent you and emphasize with you more. For sure. So in an instance to where I had an accident and I didn't have an adjuster, it'll be legally harder for me to get anything done? Yes, much. because you don't know how to prove or what to prove. Okay. And it's your job to show this what it is, this what happened. Yes. Because of this, yes. and it's going to cost this. Yes. Gotcha. We have a whole system to help us with that. You I don't. Mean, I got it now. Right. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Especially, yeah, you're under stress. You're trying to get everything done. You probably won't be thinking about all of that stuff. Exactly. It's like, you know, if you went to court, you know you need a public defendant. 
at least. But right, yeah. but as a, yeah. as a citizen, you may not know all of the laws that can protect you. Right, right, and that can hurt you by not knowing. Exactly, and it's the same thing. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay. Well, that's good, man. It sounds like it's a promise of job for you that flew you all the way up here <laughs> to get you started. So hopefully it all turned out well. So besides the job, man, what else? What else do you do? What's a um, day in the life for Mona? For me? Yes. Um, like I said, I, I have the Facebook group, so mm-hmm. I, I post there a lot. That's what I'm For sure, for sure. I spend a posters. lot of time just scrolling and posting, just basically spamming people. Yeah. On yeah. the cookout. Yeah. Um, I'm reading a book. I'm also working on a book. Okay. Yeah, you too, huh? <laughs> you know, shout out to the authors. Getting their books read. So what is your book pertaining to? So it's called I Was 22 Once. It's a self-help book for other young women. And it talks about three main ideas. So some for different career fields. Because I truly feel a lot of people would do better in life if they knew what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Like, there are so yeah. many different career fields out here that we just don't know of. Don't know of. And the only thing we know to say is, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be a lawyer. I don't want to go to the military. But when you ask someone what they want to do, they don't know. I don't know. Like you said, there's a lot of careers. We aren't, I ain't never heard of the career you about to do. And that's just one. So, right. Yeah, for sure. So, if other people knew higher paying jobs and got into that, I think they would do much better with themselves. It'd give them more purpose. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. So was, I'd like to hit on that. I'd like to hit on um, the importance of your image. Mm-hmm. You know, um, this is how you present yourself to the world. This is how you tell the world to address you. And it's unfortunate that people can be this shallow. Yeah, still. Yes. Still. But, but it's yeah. just a human nature thing. And unfortunately, while we don't we do, may not like it, it is some of the laws we have to abide by in society yeah. if we want to be treated a certain way upon first impression for sure for sure so image um career and the last one is managing relationships between sisterhood and um intimate relationships because those can be very different as we all we most yes. people have said most women have said it can be rough being yeah. friends with other women yeah i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure rough. so you know trying to navigate that world as well as dating mm-hmm yeah, I mean, you do kind of see that a lot, like, and not to throw shade on the women, but, you know, guys go through their little things when we date somebody. Again. Yeah, and women go through their little things when they dating, so. And then we're not friends anymore. We fell and, out and that's that. And why is that, though? Like, how come How come it's hard for people, I don't even say women, because guys, some guys do it, too. Like, they, they not to say that they be hating, but you can tell that the dynamic changed because y'all dynamic changed. You know, once you get with somebody, some we can't we can't be doing all the stuff we used to no more. So um, why do you think that's hard for people to understand? Um, I think people fit into certain categories. So maybe your friend who's great for going out does not understand more of a domestic lifestyle. Or they, you know, they're not willing they're not as adjusting to it. Right. And they may know about it, but they don't understand they don't like or understand or want to subscribe to certain intricacies. Yeah. That it takes to maintain a healthy relationship. So do you think you should categorize your friends then? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Like, I'm adventurous. I have friends who, you know, may want to go skydiving with me, may want to go rafting with me. Then I have sure. my, my other friends who, they're not going to want to do that. For that's sure. my dinner for friend. Sure. For sure. That's for sure. Friend. <laughs> that makes sense. For sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, let me see. What else we got up on here? Yeah, we guess we could take a little break. I think that went well. Okay. I think that went well so far. We're going to take a little break. All in show. Here with Mona. Representing Macon. <laughs> Catastrophic adjusting. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't get enough.